hey, Cowboys fans, get ready for the latest updates that could change the fate of the team. Howdy, y'all. Hold on to your cowboy hats because we've got some Dallas Cowboys news that will make you scream like you've just won the Super Bowl. Rumors are running faster than a tornado in Dallas, as it's known that the Cowboys are preparing to reunite with Ezekiel Elliott's parents before the draft. Yes, you heard right. The Cowboys could be after their former franchise running back. And while we're on the subject, also learn about the contracts of Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Micah Parsons. Buckle up, because this trip isn't over yet. Y'all, hold on to your cowboy hats, cause we got some Dallas Cowboys news that'll have ya hollerin' like you just won the Super Bowl. The rumor mills churnin' faster than a tornado in Dallas as words out that the Cowboys are fixin' to sit down with Ezekiel Elliott's folks before the draft. Yep, you heard that right. The Cowboys might just be wranglin' in their former franchise runnin' back. Now, if that don't make you lean in closer, I don't know what will. It's like the whole city of Dallas is holdin' its breath waiting to see what's gonna happen next. Jocena Anderson from CBS Sports dropped the bombshell, and Ian Rappaport from NFL Network sing in the same tune. Seems like them cowboys were feeling mighty let down by the run-in game last season. Tony Pollard was as supposed to step up and take charge, but it felt like we were waiting on him longer than a Dallas summer, just to see glimpses of his old self. But now, with all this talk about bringing Zeke back into the fold, well, I reckon there's going to be more twists and turns in this saga than a Texas tornado. So, buckle up, folks, cause the ride ain't over yet. Y'all, let me tell you about Rico Dowdlemake and Waves down in Dallas. So, he done impressed Coach McCarthy and the whole dang coaching crew with his skills in his first full-on season without getting hurt. They liked him so much they brought him back for another round, just signed him up for a one-year deal. But hold on to your hats, cause that ain't all the news stirring up the Dallas Cowboys pot. The front office, they went ahead and snagged Royce Freeman, a season back, to add to the mix. But our boy Patrick Walker, the one who keeps us all in the loop with them Cowboys news, he's whispering about something more. Could be their fixin' to shuffle Elliot back into the deck, you know, to add a bit more spice to the run-in game. Cause let's be honest, our offense was missing that kick, that real punch, when it came to running that pigskin down the field. Sure, Elliot might have had a bit of a slump last season, but let's not forget his last hurrah in Dallas, when he was busting through them lines for a cool dozen touchdowns. Pollard and Dowdle, they did their best, bless M, but they only managed 8 between M in 2023. Now, I know everybody's been buzzing about Ezekiel Elliott and what's gonna happen come draft day. But let me tell ya, just cause we got Zeke don't mean we shouldn't be eyeballing them running backs in the draft. Our front office ain't playing around, folks. They see them weaknesses from last year, and they're fixin' to patch em up, no matter what. We got ourselves a whole gang of contenders for that RB spot, Dowdle, Elliott, Freeman, Deuce Vaughn, Lupke, Davis, Connor, and whoever else they bring in. Now, oh well Jerry Jones, he ain't spillin' all the beans just yet. He's keeping a few tricks up his sleeve, waiting for them right moments. Who knows, maybe he's got that Elliot card stashed away, waiting to drop it like a bomb before the weekend's over. But hey, ain't that just the thrill of being a Cowboys fan? You never know what's coming next. So stay tuned, cause there's always something brewing in Dallas Cowboys land. Well folks, now on to the next bit of Dallas Cowboys news. Y'all hear the good news? The Dallas Cowboys done went ahead and locked in Micah Parsons for another year. Yup, they officially slapped on that fifth-year option, listing him as a defensive end. Ain't that something? Now, while we're on the subject, did you catch wind of them Detroit Lions showing a Monterey St. Brown some love with a long-term deal? Got me wondering if that lit a fire under the Cowboys' boots to do something similar for C.D. Lamb. But hey, only time will tell, right? But let me tell ya, Wednesday was buzzing with Cowboys news, just like we expected. ESPN's Todd Archer spilled the beans that the Cowboys are locking Parsons in for 2025 with that fifth-year option. Now, some folks been raising eyebrows at the price tag, $21.324 million, but hey, when you got talent like Parsons, you gotta pay the price, right? And get this, they're calling him a defensive end, cause that's where he's been putting in work, even though he's a linebacker by trade. Now, Picking up Parsons' option was just the start. Cowboys gotta be thinking long-term with this fella. Can't afford to let him slip away like they did with Lamb and others. 
Lesson learned, Cowboys, lesson learned. Well, folks, now let's talk about some other Dallas Cowboys news from today. Y'all ready for some Cowboys news? Cause let me tell ya, Dallas ain't sleepin' easy these days, especially with all the chatter about them contracts for Prescott and Lamb. It's like every corner of Dallas is buzzin' with that talk. And who can blame them, right? I mean, we're talkin' about the heart and soul of America's team here. Jones, bless his heart, he's out there spillin' the beans about how they want Dak locked down tight. Can't blame him, can ya? Dudes practically carry in the team on his back. But with the NFL draft coming at us like a stampede of longhorns, the Cowboys gotta keep their heads straight. Balancing that big board with Lockin in their current stars is like walking a tightrope. And when we're talking about stars, we ain't just talking about any old stars. We're talking Prescott, Lamb, and Parsons, aka the big three down here in Dallas. Well, folks, down here in Texas, we're itching for some action, drawled Jerry Jones, owner and big boss man of the Dallas Cowboys, in his signature cowboy hat at the pre-draft press conference. We're talking option quarterback, like I've been doing all my life. We want to see some cards played, you know what I mean? Translation? The Cowboys, they ain't satisfied with just watching the leaves fall. They want to hustle, make some moves. But old Jerry, he's a savvy one. He knows you gotta play your hand just right, especially when it comes to big deals like Dak, CD, and Micah. Stephen Jones, the brains behind the operation, chimed in, y'all, these contracts ain't something you slap together like a sandwich. It takes time, timing, and a whole lot of strategy. We ain't rushing into this. When you're talking about the kind of money we're throwing around, you better believe we wanna get it right. Now, when someone asked Jerry if all this uncertainty about Dak Prescott's future might mean drafting a new quarterback early, he shot that idea down quicker than a rattlesnake in July. Y'all better not be betting on some 2024 NFL draft pick to come in and replace Prescott. We want Dak Prescott, plain and simple, Jones said with some serious tone. Dak showed up for day one of the team's offseason gig, but Lamb ain't made an appearance yet. Ain't clear if he's gonna hold out or hold in to fast-track them contract talks. Parsons ain't around neither, but for different reasons. He's off training elsewhere like he did last spring. At first, Prescott was all in, saying it's gonna happen when asked about his contract in March. But a month later, he sounded a bit different, not ruling out the idea of being elsewhere in 2025, though he still loves Dallas. Talking at the annual Children's Cancer Fund Gala, which he co-chairs with Troy Aikman, Prescott kept it real. I'm focused on now, he said. When talks get real, then we'll talk. Right now, I'm focused on getting better. My agent and Jerry are handling that part. When they start chatting, then I'll jump in. Don't mean Prescott ain't talking to the front office at all. Just means ain't much happening except for tweaking his deal for some cap relief. Jerry and I had a chat, so I know where we stand, he said. We're on the same page for now. You know, I ain't exactly gunning to be the top dog in paychecks, not necessarily. We'll see how things shake out when the talking starts, and of course, I want to set this team up for the best shot. The Joneses ain't really sweating the whole talks part of the deal, though. Let me tell ya, I got respect for how Dak handles his business, plain and simple, as much as any other guy I've worked with, Jerry Jones chimed in. But we gotta understand, talks ain't the gauge of whether we're close to a deal, not at all. Might be one of the least reliable indicators. It's kinda misleading to think that talks are the be-all and end-all, or that they kick off some sort of countdown clock, or that they got a whole lot to do with signing a player. Those two things ain't always one and the same. Now, let's not forget, last training camp, the Cowboys made some serious moves on the contract front, locking in all-pro cornerback Trayvon Diggs early and surprising everyone, plus they inked new deals for other key defensive guys like Donovan Wilson and Malik Hooker, not to mention the starting right tackle Terrence Steele. Time show when the big three, Prescott, Lamb, and Parsons, get their deals done, but one thing's for sure, the Cowboys are dead set on keeping them around for the long haul. That's crystal clear. As for the when and how. Well, that's anybody's guess, partner. 